You may have heard the inspirational journeys of Elon Musk from SpaceX or that of Steve Jobs from Apple. Today, I would like to share with you the story of a young boy who regularly emphasizes that he hasn't done a million things and won't stop until he completes them. What's new, you'd ask? So many of us haven't done a million things and neither are we stopping, are we? Yes and yes. But this boy I'm referring to is driven by inordinate curiosity and the hunger to learn and deliver. The curiosity that pushes him to keep striving and never stop learning. The story starts when he was all of five years, when he was introduced to his first toy, a computer. Like any child, he was curious to know this toy in and out. But in his case, this computer turned out to be the pinnacle of his exploration. By the time he was 11, not only did his passion to learn start taking shape, he also became more proficient in many programming languages. And before you think this is another one of those technology-oriented talks, hold on. What's this hunger if it's only restricted to one field, right? Enter the age of 13 and a young boy starts learning music. Initially starting at the violin, he further went on to learn playing the piano. This curiosity to know all aspects and disciplines of life made him want to try his hands on everything this world had to offer. Now let me take a pause and ask you something. What's the one thing in your life that moved you the most? Something that made you change or question your choices? Something that had you so motivated and moved that it almost made you want to keep doing it for the rest of your life? For some of you, it could be a certain activity or a habit. For others, it could be an incident. But for this little, for this little boy, it was a person and the sheer happiness and contentment he felt on helping her out. This friend of his was feeling blue due to her low grades, which prompted him to offer his help, teach her the concepts and make her achieve a good score. And the happiness on the face of his friend made him realize something bigger. To that day, he wanted to see the world only for himself and attempted to learn so it could change his perspectives on the world. But that fine moment, he sought for a purpose, the purpose of helping others with his knowledge. He started an initiative called Light Your Flame and gathered a group of volunteers to implement its unique technique of students teaching each other and learning from each other. Students performing well in one subject would teach the same to their fellow peers to bring up their grades. This technique went on to become a huge success and was implemented all over the school. At the age of 14, a certain incident left a significant impact on him. He experienced his friend succumb to depression. He had seen many of his friends, teenagers, family lost their loved ones. Every day it was the same story on the news. Girl commits suicide in university or a boy jumps from the fourth floor. Every 40 seconds a person commits suicide. Unfortunately, by the end of this talk, 21 people would have lost their lives because of this. This very incident made him look at people around him differently. The emotions brought rise to a new objective and gave him a purpose. For the next two years, he extensively researched behavioral psychology through computer science and with the new knowledge he had learned, he found a way to implement his purpose of help helping people and filed his first patent on his research. The research was called Design and Implementation of Emotion Analysis Using Artificial Intelligence. The model uses AI in diagnosing depression and other mental health disorders. The model is currently being designed and tested to increase its accuracy with the help of healthcare professionals and developers. His work on psychiatrics evolved when he was 16, when he went on to create a mobile application to aid his purpose further. The application was called Safe Spaces and it connects psychiatrists to students. It is currently being used in schools and replaces the previous email system of communication. The app is completely anonymous and helps the counselors to connect better with their students in need. It is currently being integrated with Coral AI, a health chatbot designed to talk to students and collect all relevant information for the psychiatrist while they are being connected with one. The boy went on to learn cooking skills from his mother and started volunteering at the local community kitchen. During this pandemic, he managed to raise the funds of 2 lakh rupees to help families affected due to the lockdown. This helped 100 families with essential supplies for a span of two months. Furthermore, to ensure the safety of his fellow residents in his locality, he implemented Project SAFE, an artificial intelligence powered camera that detects people who aren't wearing masks. Well, technology, check. Music, check. Research, check. Cooking, check. Pretty interesting, you must be thinking. But everything comes with a price, doesn't it? To be able to aid and learn new things to drive his passion in the right direction, that's something he gave up on. Friends, playtime or a social circle, well all of it. 
Whether it was worth it or not, I'll probably leave it for a later time. Moving on, the young boy has authored a book named Python Simplified. The book provides an interactive way of learning Python using emotional cognition. Currently, more than 700 books have been distributed for free. And he also teaches pr programming to children after school hours and shares his learnings and knowledge in his podcast, The Boring Inverse. Currently, he's focused on developing several other technology-oriented solutions to various problems in prevalent in the society, such as energy, for an instance. He's the founder of Atman, an organization that supports people diagnosed with cancer. The organization currently co collects hair from volunteers and donates, donates it to cancer societies to make a wig for patients. He is the founder and president of the Lead Council, an organization that connects youth worldwide for the purpose of exchanging ideas and coming up with solutions using an entrepreneurial way of thinking. With 60 members across eight countries, the Lead Council attempts to bring the voice of youth forward in, in solving societal problems. Amelia Computing Private Limited is a startup and is currently working on three fields, energy, healthcare, and education technology. The team has currently employed six people in his company and is collaborating with various healthcare centers. He is also in the process of writing his second book on Python and artificial intelligence. The protagonist of the story of limitless learning, curiosity, and inspiration is none other than myself. Do I miss not having a social life? Do I miss not having many friends? Do I wish for myself to have, a, to have lived a normal life? No. Everything I learned, did, and sacrificed today makes me stand on this platform in front of all of you, delivering my first talk. And trust me, I give up on a lot of things a thousand times over to make sure I keep learning and achieving. Age is really just a number and it should never be a restriction to knowledge. I'm Ratneshwar and Mahesvaran and yes, there are a million things I haven't done and I won't stop until I complete them. Thank you.